Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we're going to show you how we make our southern squash casserole on the big green egg. Stick around! Okay, to start this recipe, we got one red bell pepper and one sweet onion that we're going to chop up. And then we're going to slice up our squash. There's about two pounds of squash here. And again, just one red bell pepper and an onion. So... We'll get started first on those. Okay, so we have some medium heat rolling here. We're just going to put one tablespoon of butter in this pot. We're going to let it melt down and we're going to go ahead and saute. We're going to start sauteing the onions and the peppers that we just diced. I'm just going to push you, try to push these guys in all on the shot. Now we're doing this step. You know, you think, well, you're going to bake it. You know, why would you want to cook, pre cook it? Well, there's a lot of water in all these vegetables we're using, especially yellow squash. And if you don't pre cook them, you're going to have a watery mess. So it's best to pre-cook everything. We're going to get these vegetables here just about done and then we'll pre-cook the squash right in on top of them. We're just going to hit them with a little bit of uh, Jealous Devil AP. Yeah, it does. It gives it a lot of flavor, especially with that butter. Everything's better with butter on it. So. So to keep these moving and while these are simmering, we're gonna go ahead and go cut up our squash. Okay, so these, uh, that bell pepper and the onion have been sauteing for about five minutes. They're translucent. They're starting to get soft. And we're gonna go ahead and add, this is uh, two pounds of yellow squash or six cups. Again, we're gonna hit these with a little bit of the seasoning. I don't know where you buy your squash from, but where I get mine, they don't come pre-seasoned. <laughs> and we're just gonna let this cook and let these get almost done. And we're gonna put them in our, our little baking dish that we're gonna use in the big green egg. So just let these guys cook up a little bit. We're gonna go over and show you the topping that we're gonna to put on top of the mixture. Topping on top? The topping that we're gonna put on top of the mixture. That's a good place for it. Yeah. Okay, so we have a half a sleeve of Ritz crackers. Now I picked up the, uh, the roasted vegetable uh, Ritz crackers to put a little spin on it. And again, it's half a sleeve. So we're just gonna put these in our little food processor we have here. We're gonna blend these up really well and we'll add some butter to it a little bit later before we go to stick it on our egg for a nice, crispy, flavorful topping. And there you can see it's like a breadcrumb consistency. Okay, so the next step we want to do is we want to add two eggs into a bowl for mixing. These are both large large eggs. I'm going to give them a quick whisk. Then we're going to add a quarter cup of mayo, your choice. This is Hellman's and get that mixed in. Now a quarter cup of sour cream. Next thing we're going to add is some cheddar cheese. Okay, so this is eight ounces. Mix it real well. We're going to set this off to the side. We're going to head back over to our vegetables and give them a look. So these things are starting to get a little soft. You can see the, the water starting to come out of them a little bit. 
smells really good. And you'll see this one here starting to get close. You can kind of see how it looks. Once they all get that way, we're going to go ahead and pour our mixture over top of them, mix it really well, and put it into our baking dish. Okay, so we have our mixture of the sour cream, mayonnaise, eggs, and the cheese that we're going to pour right in. You can see our, our veggies are nice and tender. We'll pour that in on top. We're going to give this a real good mix. Get everything incorporated in there. Okay, so we have a, I believe this is a 9 by 9 2 inch deep foil pan. We're just going to dump our mix. Ooh, man. It's ooey gooey already. Make sure you get all that out of there. You know, Bill, I think you might be able to eat it just like that. Yes, sir. But we're going to take it up just one more little bitty notch. Got to get a little smoke on there, huh? Yep. So earlier, we did up our Ritz crackers. We're now going to go ahead and put this, put them in this small bowl here. Over top of them, we're going to add about a tablespoon and a half of melted butter. And we're just going to mix it real well. And you'll see these Ritz crackers get a, a little bit darker shade of, of brown. And that's when you'll know that the butter's been distributed throughout. So now, just take your hand and you want to give a good coating. All over that. And again, these were roasted vegetable ritz. So, should add a little bit more pop of flavor. There you have it, folks. We're going to throw this on the big green egg at 350, cooking indirect for about 30 minutes, and we're going to give it a check. So, we have our egg running. Again, I got the plate setter in there. And we're just going to set this guy in there and we'll be back. I'll probably check it after 20 minutes. We want to make sure it's got nice and bubbling and it's, st it's starting to get brown on top. Stick around. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and you can see this thing is bubbling. Nice and hot. We're going to pull it off and let it rest for a little bit and let it set up. We're going to wrap it in foil, set it off to the side. And we're going to fix our main course to go along with this. Okay, everybody. So our squash is, is cooled just a touch. And we got some leftover ribs and some loin from our competition yesterday that we're going to go ahead and eat with this. I'm just going to get a small corner of it out so you can see it. I mean, look at that. Gooey, gooey. We're going to put it right down here in the center of this. Now, we're going to try this squash, but we're also going to have some of this other pork that we cooked yesterday that Bill and Dorothy haven't had a chance to taste yet. Okay, so we have our uh, southern squash casserole here, and we have some leftover ribs and some loin from a competition recently. And you can have this dish, really, any day of the week. Simple to make. Have it on Sunday with your fried chicken. Bill and I are going to give it a taste. See the gooeyness. Oh yeah. Drop right down my rib. It's good. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Good stuff, isn't it? That's real good. Really simple to mm. make. You can make it in your egg. You can make it in your oven. If you have a pellet smoker, you can make it on that. Give this recipe a try. I'm gonna have another bite. And then Bill and I are gonna tear into these ribs and a little bit of that. Absolutely. Point. But whatever you do. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, get your song.